All right, liberals are still in hysterics over Hillary's loss. I know, almost two years later. So much so that therapists are now saying there is a rise in politically related anxiety called Trump anxiety disorder. Our next guest says the disorder is an effort by psychologists to make these never Trumpers the victim. Here with, with more Fox News contributor Tammy Bruce. The victim, Tammy? Yeah, yeah, look, they're obviously when, you, when you're diagnosed with something, and this is really a reaction to, by people who can't deal with the fact that their favorite person didn't win an election. Uh, no, it's not the end of the world. In the last hundred years, there's been plenty of that. You've had the Holocaust, two world wars, right? The Cuban Missile Crisis, the, the Cold War, a lot of things that genuinely would make people think that the world was ending, and for, for obviously millions of people it did. In this case, a person didn't win an election it will change and the person who did win is doing a great job right so when you assign a disorder to someone you're saying something from the outside did mm -hmm. something to you that you're not in control of yourself in fact we are in control of ourselves and we can adjust our, our uh, attitude when it comes to how we deal with the world how Hillary handled her loss has a lot to do with the anxiety other people feel that is Remember, correct. JFK beats Nixon controversy in Illinois mm -hmm. sure but Nixon walked away yeah. said okay I lost Al Gore loses a heartbreaker by 500 votes to Bush. Very good he example. He walked away, became a professor. And he said, this is how elections work. This is our process. Let's do this. Not just Hillary, Maxine Waters, John Brennan, Chuck Schumer, people telling individuals that th this is treason. Cataclysmic. The, yeah, it's, it, that it's Armageddon. This does not help. And leadership knows that those on the edge will be mm. pushed over. Here's what worries me. Uh, yes. Ben Carson's house. Uh, you have Kristen Nielsen trying to just have dinner. Right. You have Bessie DeVos's yacht was let go into the bay. Right. And, and of course, you have all this, uh, the, these, uh, the attack on Hollywood uh, Walk of Fame. Mm -hmm. All this stuff shows that violence is upon us. Uh, this is not just winning and losing. And a story just from a couple days ago where a woman deliberately, allegedly, hit a car of a man who had a, a Trump bumper sticker. A, a, report, a local reporter in that wondered if a Trump anxiety disorder, TAD, uh, could be argued in court as an excuse for this violence. This is what's happening now. So you've got not everybody, certainly, but even, of course, the shooting of Steve Scalise and the attempted mass murder at that baseball field. Individuals who are already on the edge, unhinged, are receiving permission with this kind right. of discussion uh, to do what they want to do. It's getting too serious.